Welcome everyone to Caesars Palace, one of the largest and most iconic hotel casinos on the Las Vegas Strip. This is Seeking Paradise Together, and we'll be taking you on a full walkthrough tour of the property, including the pool complex. Caesars recently completed the revamped front entrance, including the Palace Casino area. They really opened it up by adding more space and raising the ceiling. Next to the entrance, you'll find Brioche by Guy Savoie. The sweet and savory Brioche shop offers delectable taste of flaky French pastry 24 hours a day. The resort offers a total of 3,980 rooms, including more than 300 suites throughout five towers. The Julius Tower being the oldest, Palace Tower, Augustus Tower, Octavius Tower, the Forum Tower, and also Nobu Hotel. Like Brios from Guy Savoie, you will find Caesars to be loaded with celebrity chef-owned restaurants, including chefs like Bobby Flay, Guy Fieri, Giada De Laurentiis, Gordon Ramsay, Dominic Ansel, Nobu Matsuhisa, Mr. Chow, Lisa Vanderpump, and at Stanton Social Prime, Chris Santos. Stanton Social Prime offers shareable dishes featuring prime meats along with theatrical tableside presentations. Located next to the sports book is the entrance to the 75,000 square foot nightclub Omnia. It's a multi-level venue including an ultra lounge and a rooftop garden and panoramic views of the strip. And across from Omnia is Amalfi, Chef Bobby Flay's taste of the Mediterranean. The sports book at Caesars Palace is considered a favorite to the locals and was even voted best sports book in Vegas for multiple years. The poker room has been recently relocated in between the Coliseum and the sports book and boasts 4,500 square feet of card playing action. Caesars Rewards is tucked behind the poker room and here you can sign up with the rewards program and earn and redeem reward credits at more than 50 destinations. And next to the rewards desk is the infamous Coliseum, hosting some of the greatest entertainers in the world. Currently. There are shows from Adele, Garth Brooks, Rod Stewart, and Jerry Seinfeld. At the entrance to the forum shops sits Lisa Vanderpump's Vanderpump Cocktail Garden, featuring a garden oasis, handcrafted cocktails, and light bites. The forum shops at Caesars Palace include approximately 160 specialty stores and fine restaurants. 
There is even an escape room on the third floor and the Fall of Atlantis show on the main floor that runs from noon to 8, Thursday through Monday, and is free. If you are interested in checking out the forum shops, be sure to click on the link in the top right corner or down in the description below. The brown colored vintage football helmets in the distance sits at the corner of the Forum Food Hall. This is Stadia Bar. It's a stylish spot for sports lovers and is a great place to sit and watch a game. We thought we'd include the way to the parking garage if you were to park a vehicle in the self-parking area. Also, this is the area we go to get rideshare like Uber or Lyft. Up this ramp is the back way into the Forum Food Hall where you can find dining on the cheaper side. There are six options including Defaro Pizza, Bobby's Burger Palace by Bobby Flay, The Halal Guys, Tiger Walk and Ramen, Chicken Guy by Guy Fieri, and also a Starbucks. One of our favorite celebrity chefs, Gordon Ramsay, has his pub and grill next to the Forum Food Hall, which serves up signature dishes like fish and chips, beef wellington, and that oh so delicious sticky toffee pudding. Another award-winning chef, Dominique Ansel, is bringing delicious pastries like the Corona and super artistic desserts, and also has this interesting machine that makes a cookie shot. Straight ahead is the entrance to the Forum Tower. Formerly Shadow Bar is now Vista Cocktail Lounge. It is centrally located in the casino and is a nice place to enjoy casual drinks as an alternative to the nightclub. Here's another look at Amalfi that is the front entrance. Down this hallway you can connect to the Palace Casino which is near the front entrance that I came in. Here you'll find Nobu and Nobu Hotel. The restaurant features award winning Japanese cuisine. You can be entertained while your chef cooks up a culinary display right in front of you. Nobu Hotel offers something unique to Las Vegas. You can have a Japanese inspired hotel room. You can book it through caesars.com.
Cleopatra's barge is an icon at Caesar's Palace. The lounge actually has a barge that sits in water and slightly is rocked by hydraulics. Since opening in 1970, just four years after Caesar's Palace opened, it has hosted acts from Sinatra, Dean Martin, Wayne Newton, and more recently, Matt Goss. At the end of this hallway, you'll find the palace tower and the pool entrance.
pool complex is called the Garden of the Gods, and it boasts seven pools total. It has the Temple Pool, Fortuna Pool, Neptune Pool, which is the largest, Apollo Pool, the Jupiter Pool, Bacchus Pool, and the Venus Pool and Lounge, which is adults only. Pool beds and cabanas are available for purchase and for reservation.
Pronto by Giada De Laurentiis offers quick Italian-inspired dining at a lower price. There is a wide selection of coffee, paninis, salads, antipasti, wine, and gelato. Opposite of Pronto is Mr. Chow, which offers fine Chinese cuisine, served family style. You will be entertained while you eat from the large kinetic moon sculpture that is suspended over the main dining room. Tucked away back here is the entrance of Bacchanal Buffet. I would encourage you, if you're planning on eating here, to make a reservation in advance. If you'd like to know more about it, you can click on the link in the upper right corner or down in the description below. We do have videos on this. Beijing Noodle Number no. 9 is another upscale Chinese spot. It has a one of a kind entrance and an open kitchen to view their amazing creations. And next to Beijing Noodle Number no. 9, and in between the cashier, is the elevator bank to Julius Tower. Although the lines to check in may be long at times, there is plenty to see in this stunning lobby. It also has a lounge and the all new Galleria bar. If you are one who may want to skip the wait, they have a self-service check-in, check-out kiosk to the left of the registration desk. Also to the left of the lobby is the entrance to the Augustus and Octavius Towers. Registration desks for Diamond and Seven Star members are located here as well. Up this beautiful staircase, you will find Restaurant Guy Savoie, the spa, and the fitness center.
The fitness center is available for all guests and is open daily from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Cafe Americano is open 24 hours where you can enjoy classic American style dishes. It also has a patio dining next to the absinthe yard and is called Terraza.
Absinthe is Caesars Palace Entertainment Show and is considered one of the best adult entertainment shows in Las Vegas. It is grown up filthy fun and the seating is so close to the action you almost feel part of it. Just outside in front of Caesars Palace along the Las Vegas Boulevard is Hell's Kitchen, Chef Gordon Ramsay's famous reality television restaurant. The Shrine of the Four-Faced Brahma was dedicated to Caesar's Palace in 1984. It is a replica of the famous Irwan Shrine in Bangkok, Thailand. It's a beautiful piece and allows you to light incense and say a prayer. We hope you enjoyed the walkthrough tour of Caesar's Palace. Again, if you'd like to see more of Caesar's Palace, please click on the links below for full tours of Bacchanal Buffet and the Forum Shops.